everybody welcome to a new video today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a burger so the first thing that you're gonna need is a pair of gloves you don't want to touch the raw meat you're gonna need a two-third of a pound of meat and let's get to it so we're gonna to want to knead the meat into a ball you want to make sure that there's no more uh, shreds of meat in your ball so knead it nice and good you want to put your meat down on the plate press it down with your fist and then you're going to round it out by guiding the outside of the burger. Once you have that, you're going to want to season your patty. So what I did is I got some butt rub. This is usually for pork, but I love it with burgers. It's just salt, garlic, and pepper. Season your burger nice and well. Turn your stove on to three. If you don't have a stove like that, then put it on to about two for the electric ones. Get your cheese, and you're going to want to grab your burger, kind of work your way around it to make sure it doesn't rip on the plate. Get your burger up, and then turn it right over on the pan, season side down. And you're going to let that cook for about two to three minutes until the bottom side is brown. Once it's brown and the juices are flowing, it's a good time to grab your spatula and turn it right over. You're gonna let that cook for about another two to three minutes. Now you're gonna to grab your cheese and you're gonna put your cheese right on top of the bird. Grab some water and put that in the pan as well. And then you're gonna cover it with a lid. This allows the cheese to steam and melt a little faster than it would. And just make sure to check your cheese once in a while. You can see in this shot, I showed you that if the burger is running red still, that means it's not done yet, and it was still running red. So you're going to wait till the burger is running clear juices, like in this shot. Now's a good time to turn off your pan, grab a spatula, and scoop it up onto the plate. And for quality assurance, I just made sure to cut the burger in half so that you can see the middle. It's nice and brown, there's no more pink left, and the juices are running clear. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.